Hey friends, Catherine here. This is the galaxy painting we just did yesterday, and I love it. I do end up, I did end up actually liking it really a lot. Um, but I think what would make it even better is a sea unicorn in space. And as everybody knows, sea unicorns are really just narwhals. So we're going to paint a narwhal across it. Maybe like, like a U-shaped one. Like, like bent backwards with like his horn over here and like his body going curving like that maybe we'll see we'll we'll start on it and see how it works out um colors for painting this today i've got my deco art white i've got my apple barrel jet black i've got a bit of folk art pure gold and i've got some apple barrel blue cotton i don't know that i want to use the blue will We'll see. We'll see how it goes. We'll we'll start working on it, and we'll see how it ends up. Um, Personally, what I'm going to want to do is just outline how I want the narwhal, the narwhal to be shaped. So I think I'm going to do that in white, because they are predominantly white. Just bring out some paint and grab a round-tipped brush and pick some of that paint up and maybe then tap it off and grab some water and then pick up some more paint now that the brush is wet. Um, and let's see, something like this I'm feeling. Narwhals are kind of sort of like a really long teardrop shape almost. Um, sort of flat on top, but then with like a, a swinging out belly, if that makes sense as a thing to say. Um, so this is going to be the top side and this is going to be the belly side. There we go. Something like that. And then they are actually kind of long, like longer than you'd think. Like they've got like a long, longish body. There we go. Something like that. And then the tail kind of flares outward. And sort of like that ish it's got like a part going on but also kind of flat a little bit kind of like that and then maybe maybe we'll make him chubbier maybe we'll make our narwhal chubbier it's gonna be a chubby narwhal baby there we go and maybe a little bit longer in the body that's turning out all right okay and then they have these sort of really close to the front fins in the front that come down and then curve backward like that and they aren't all that big, actually. Most of the power of the narwhal is in the tail. Go. Go. Okay. Like that. And then maybe another one right there. That one will be behind, but we'll give it depth as soon as we're finished outlining the shape of the whole thing and then I think I need a smaller brush because their horns are really long but also like really thin so let's use this one this flat brush that's good and their uh, horns aren't actually horns they are a tusk that comes like straight out of the tip of their face like really low on the face um, because it's not a horn, it's a tusk. 
uh, and they are very straight, and they are very thin, and they are also twisty, but we'll come back to that in a moment. There we go. Okay. There we go. That looks like the outline of a narwhal to me. So let's, I think, grab a little bit of the blue. I, I have decided I'm going to end up using the blue after all. Uh, this is that Apple Barrel Blue Cotton. And use it, put some down, and then mix it in with the white a little bit. And start using it for, like, accents and things, like shadows and whatnot. Go... Just mix it up really lightly, like almost white itself. Okay, and then uh, go through and just uh, do, let's see, do the bottom side of the curve of that fin coming in from the front and then the bottom side of that fin, but like all of it actually, cause it's behind. And then it's belly all along until where it meets the front fin and then all along the bottom. And actually let's just go ahead and put a bunch of blue down on this a bunch of the really light blue down on this for now and then we'll come back through with a slightly darker shade of blue because that's not quite enough definition but it'll give me a little bit of if I do it slowly it'll give me a gradient which could be kind of cool looking we'll see how it goes okay so there all right and then maybe a little bit around where the eye is going to be just to give it a little bit of definition in its face and then go to a darker blue all right so I do have a little bit over here that's mixed a little bit darker and let's go through yeah that's that's a nicer darker blue go through and mix that along and oh ice cream truck okay and along the belly just so that it's grading upward there we go okay something like that fun and then Long the tail. And then the even darker blue. Um, same thing. Right along the edge and all the way across that back fin because it's right in the back. So I want it to be the darkest. There we go. And then just right along the belly if I can kind of mix it in a little bit there we go all the way down here and then a little bit more and just right along the edge of the tail and like right there and sort of like that so that gives it a little bit more of a curved shape kind of hopefully who knows we'll see and then like a darker blue right around the eye i'm feeling yep okay and then i think what we're going to want is some black so let's get out some of that jet black and narwhals are sort of 
speckled like leopards um and their speckling actually goes across their back like the the part that is exposed to the sun like freckles and then uh disappears as it gets towards the belly which is really interesting and also just kind of cool looking i kind of like spotted animals you know um but let's go along and just give it some speckles right along its back go something like that and just kind of mix it in and make it look speckly and less so as it comes downward darkest at the top and less and less as we move down toward the belly There we go. I'm actually kind of happy with how this is turning out. I mean, I'll probably mess it up in just a moment, but for now, this is looking pretty okay in my book. Okay. Like that, sort of. And then across the top of the tail, back of the tail, right like that. There we are. And then maybe just a little bit right on the back side of his front fins there, just coming upward and leading around maybe. And then across like that. And then maybe just a little bit more down to the belly. Uh, there we go. And then take a big dollop of black and put it right there for the eye. And then make it a little bit to the front and back because eyes aren't perfectly round. They are sort of ovoid. There we go. Actually, maybe we want to go in here with this back fin and darken it up with some black now that I'm looking at it and thinking about it. There we go. Okay. And maybe we'll make the eye bigger. The eye can always be bigger. And it makes it cuter if a little less realistic to have a giant eye. And we'll swirl a little bit of that blue that we're picking up into it so that it looks like it's seeing space. Eh, it's all right. It's not too bad. Okay, I feel like it's time for the gold. So let's pull out a little bit of the gold. Sometimes my paintings don't look as good as other times. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm not sure I like it as much. I knew this would happen. I like it less and less as I work on it. That's okay. It is what it is. All right, and then with the gold, we are going to do the horn because it's a space narwhal, so it can have a golden horn if I want it to. And we're just going to go along and make it spirally.
there we are almost done okay and then maybe a little bit of black into that underneath to give that spiral a little bit more definition go and then pat that black off and go back over it with the gold now that I've got the black in there there we are something like that and that looks spirally but not too defined which is awesome and exactly what we want there we go there we go something like that and then Maybe a smile, because if we're going to go with with a cartoon eye anyway, we might as well make him smiling. Um, so let's give him a smile. Ooh, maybe a mustache. Yeah, we'll give him a mustache. That's even better. Go. Curls up and around. And there's the other side of the mustache, just so that you know it's there. Because why not? I know I can have a mustache if I want him to. Um, and then I'm feeling a little bit of gold glitter. I've got a little bit of glitter right here. And if I'm a real light hand, of course, I, I'm, as I'm saying, if I'm a light hand, I just dump it all on there. That's okay. We'll just dump it all on there anyway. And then take and grab a clean piece of contact backing and tap it off. There we go. That is a glittery narwhal. That is what I did today, friends. I painted a narwhal. What have you done today? <laughs> if you haven't done anything yet, why not? Come on, join me. Making things is fun. Um, I make things every day. I have new videos every day, so be sure to come back and check them out. There's always something new to see. Um, and I will remind you all to remember to subscribe. And I will see you another time. Bye!